Good evening and welcome to Housing Issues. My name is Beth Sheba Wyatt Draper and I'm a homeownership consultant with Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago. It is my pleasure to be on the air with you today. I want to talk to you about some things that we're doing at Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago, tell you about some programs, and give you some information about a check, some money that you might be able to qualify for. First, let's talk about NHS, Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago, where we help you buy, keep, and fix your home. We're about helping to stabilize the communities. We have first-time home buyer classes. We have post-purchase classes. We have uh, many things that you can do to help make you a more informed consumer. We believe that education is a key. The more you know, the better you can do. And the better you can do, the more happier you are about the income, the outcome, I'm sorry. We have classes. You can go to our website, which is www.nhschicago.org. And you can see a listing of the calendar where our classes are, what times they are. We have locations in Chicago, in the south suburbs, and also in Elgin. Let me just give you the number that you can call for general information about NHS, and that's 773-329-4010. 773-329-4010. We have been working in certain areas of the city of Chicago to help revitalize them because they're on the up and up, for lack of a better term. They're being stabilized through new investment, new money, new housing. And so one of the ones that we're working in is called the West Woodline. Renew Woodline is the name of the program. And just a second here, I'm going to show you the sheet. It's the Renew Woodline. Let me turn it around. Now, this is a program in the Woodline area that if you meet the criteria, you can get up to $15,000 in down payment assistance. This is also a program that you need to, here's the guidelines, let me tell you about that. The property must be a one to four unit. The property must be owner occupied. Property must be located within the Woodlawn community. And the borrower's household income must be at 120% AMI, that's the average medium income, or less. When you call, they can give you more details about that. Bob must have attended a HUD certified eight-hour housing home ownership workshop, which is something that we offer at Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago. Here's your contact number for this particular program, 773-329-4106. Or you can go to Renew Woodline at NHSChicago.org. Now, that's a program that we've been working on, and we've been working on it for a while. And if you've watched this show before, I'm quite sure you uh, not only heard me talk about it, but I did have the person who's running that program, Paula Gant, was on to give some more details. It is still in effect. The money is still there. You need to contact her at 773-329-4106 so that you can get some more information to find out whether or not you might not be able to take advantage of this particular program. We also have the Micro Market Recovery Program. It is in target areas. Now, which means, it's, for instance, it's in... West Humboldt, but not in all of West Humboldt. I'm going to show you this map um, that kind of breaks it down, the areas that it's in. You would need to call NHS at 773-329-4010 and tell them. I'd like to speak to someone about the MMRP, and they can let you know who's working the program in your particular area. And then you can find out from them whether or not where you want to look for a home at is in that program. And here's some more money that you can add to that. So, it's in West Humboldt, uh, North Belmont Cragen, South Belmont Cragen. It's in Austin, East Garfield Park. It's in uh, Grand Boulevard, Chicago Lawn, Westwood Lawn, Inglewood, Chatham, North Pullman, West Pullman, and Auburn Gresham. So those are the areas where it's in. Now here's the beauty of this. 
if you qualify, you might be able to get money from both of the programs that I just mentioned. I believe the MMRP is $7,500 and $15,000 from Renew Woodlawn. You can make a $150,000 house, only $125,000, $127,000. That's big money. You're not now, you're looking to get a $125,000 house financed, not a $150,000 house. So wherever you go to look for your loan um, and you want to take advantage, you want to make sure that the lender, the person who's going to lend you the money, will allow you to layer. And that means they will allow these different programs to come in and participate, understanding that they will put a lien on the property, but this for a certain amount of time, and then the lien drops off because the loan is then forgivable. So you want to make sure to ask, ask your loan originator who you're working with. Ask them about the programs and make sure that you ask them about being able to layer the money so you can take full advantage of it. Now, last night on TV, I don't know how many of you heard this, but there was an announcement about the City of Chicago property tax rebate. The City of Chicago property tax rebate. Now, I've got it here. I'm going to read it to you, and I've got uh, an overhead that I'm going to show you so that you can hopefully see it and write down some information off of it as I go over it, okay? The first thing we want to talk about is the fact, <clears throat> is the rules. These are the rules right here. You must be a Chicago resident and homeowner. You must receive the Cook County homeowner's exemption in the most recent property tax year. And everyone who owns a home should be getting the homestead ex uh, homeowner's exemption. It's automatic. You need to find out about it if you're not getting it. Household adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less in 2015. The City of Chicago portion of property tax increase on most recent tax bill. Current on your payment of property tax. Do not owe, owe, owe real estate tax or other property located in Chicago. And do not have city debt, which is parking tickets, overdue water bills. In cases where city debt is owed, the rebate will be applied to the debt. Now, the debt can be anywhere from $25 to $200. The standard rebate provides qualifying homeowners with a rebate between $25 and $200 based on the increase in the city's portion of the most recent property tax bill, the household and their household income. So, they're, these are the variables that they're going to be looking at. The household income, whether or not you got, you're up to date on your property tax, that you don't owe the city of Chicago anything. So, as I said before, you can get up to $200. Now, if the property tax increase on the city's part, would this say 0 to 49, then you might be able to get $25. You can also go online to the city of Chicago and also look at this information. Because a lot of times, you know, they mentioned it on TV. They didn't go into any specifics about it. And some people didn't hear about it. And unfortunately, that's the way a lot of times things are done. They're done and people don't get an opportunity to take advantage of them because they don't hear about them. But that's not what we, want. What we do at NHS. We believe in spreading the good news. And so that's why I'm taking this time today to talk to you about this as much as possible. So there's also... That's the first. That's the rebate. $25 uh, up to $200. Then they have the senior supplement. A senior supplement is available to certain seniors who are longtime homeowners. Now we're going to go over that one too. Eligible requirements for the senior supplements are qualify for the standard rebate. Be 60 years of age or over as of January the 1st. It's right in here. January the 1st, 2016. Live in your home as your principal place of residence since at least 1998. January 1st, 1998. Your property equalized assessed value increased by 30% or more from the 20, 
2014 tax year to the 2015 tax year. So there has to be an increase in the assessed value of your property from 2014 to 2015. You did not receive the senior freeze for the 2015 tax. You did not receive the homestead improvement exemption for the 2015 tax uh, year. Eligibility for the senior supplement will be determined by staff at the processing sites and verified by the City of Chicago staff before rebate checks will be mailed. Now, oh, I have a caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Caller, are you on the line? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I'm having a problem hearing you. Yes, can you hear me? No, ma'am, I'm sorry I can't. Very, very... It's very My difficult. Is all the way up. Can you hear me now? No, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. I hear you a little. I'm going to do my best. Okay. Um, my question is, when you live in HUD housing, how many days when you, like, when you get a new job, how many days do you have to report your income? Ma'am, I'm sorry. I am unable to hear you. And I don't think it may not be you. It might be us here. But I'm unable to hear you. Oh, my goodness. And I can see you talking. I have my TV on, but I have it turned down. Okay. But I cannot, I'm, not, I'm unable to hear you, and I apologize for that. I don't know what the problem is. We must be experiencing some type of tef technical difficulty. But if you have a question that you'd like answered, you can feel free to call 773-329-4010, and they will direct you to someone who can answer your question. If you have a question, because I cannot hear you. I apologize for that. Thank you for calling in. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the rebate. You can only apply for the rebate in person. You can only apply in person. Now, before I go off the air, I'm going to show you the list of sites where you can go to apply for it. But you have to apply in person. So that's a stipula stipulation that they have. You have to do it in person. So, again, this is only for the city of Chicago. This is not for those of you who live in the suburbs. Only the people in the city of Chicago can qualify for this rebate. Now, what I want to do is show you the locations that they have of where you can go. It says eligible Chicago homeowners can apply for the standard rebate and the senior supplement between October the 1st, 2016 and November 30th. So now there's a time frame, so I suggest you do not wait. Applicant, applications will not be accepted after November 30th. So they're telling you now the following lists each processing location and the hours of operation. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you every last one. You're not going to be able to see it, and I'm not going to be able to show it to you, but I'm going to do my best. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to the website, and I think you can go to City, City of Chicago. Uh, you can do new press release, or you can go uh, look under the taxes. But this is the listing. They have uh, the Northside Community Development Corporation, Chicago Public Libraries, all the Chicago Public Libraries. All of them are places where you can go and apply. The Resurrection Project, the Greater Southwest Development Corporation, the Salvation Army on West 69th, Catholic Charities on West 79th, City of Chicago Community Center on West 79th, City of Chicago Community Center at 86th and Commercial, and all the public libraries. All the public libraries on Irving Park, Spanish Coalition, City for Chicago Senior Center on North Milwaukee Avenue, Lucia at uh, the one on North Avenue. You can go to City Hall, room 107. But basically, all of the public libraries are places where you can apply and probably get some assistance and get more information. Again, this is for those of you who live in the city of Chicago, uh, and this is relating to any increases that you had in 2014 to 15. Um, 
and you need to go there and apply and you can get anywhere between $25 and $200 based on where you fit into the program and I believe they will have someone there who can better help you with that. Spread the word. This is the good news. We can all use some money. Whether it's $25 or $200, it's money that you didn't have before you applied. And I'm quite sure there's something that you can do with it to help you in your home or in taking care of your family or just to put away in case there's an emergency. So please spread the word about the tax rebate check for those who live in the city of Chicago. Only. I cannot stress that enough. I want to make sure you understand that it's only for the city of Chicago residents. Now, so if you need any more information, I suggest that you Google it and go into the city of Chicago. And all of the information that I've tried to relay to you today will be able to be there. You will find it there. Now, let's just talk a little bit more about housing. In Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago, we believe in empowering people through education. And through our experiences and our, our trainings, we have the capacity and the ability to help you. Uh, for those of you who already have a home, you know the seasons are getting ready to change. I suggest you go and change that filter on that furnace before you switch it back over from air conditioning and the heat. I'm giving you that for free. It is time. We must learn how to better maintain our homes because it can help us stay in our homes. The little things that we do uh, annually to prepare our homes for the seasons can cut down on the cost of repairs. For those of you who have home warranties, should something happen to your furnace and they come out, the first thing they're going to check is that filter. If that filter is not has not been clean, they will more than likely give you a warning and tell you that if they come back and it's like that, they will not honor the contract because they want you to do the minimum basic upkeep, preventive things. So that is the number one that people usually don't think about and that's changing that filter on the furnace. In your, in your home. For some people, they like to get their uh, heating ducts cleaned out. You know, we're getting ready to get into the season of family where we come together for Thanksgiving and Christmas. People start wanting to do uh, fix things up in their home. Uh, the earlier, the better. And the more you take time and plan what you're going to do. Get more than one estimate of some, what something is going to cost. Look into the people who you talk to. When people give you referrals, use them. Call. And see how the, if the people are actually happy with the work that was done. Be sure to think about what you need to do to prepare. If your windows have drafts and you're going to put up plastic or if you're going to seal. Um, all of these things, you don't want to wait till it gets freezing cold outside. To realize you got cold on the inside that is fighting against that heat because you don't want to pay that high heating bill. So you want to take the time to prepare your house for the upcoming winter and there's no better time to start than now. I want to encourage you if you're thinking about buying a home, think about preparing yourself mentally as well as financially about buying a home. For most of us, it's the largest financial transaction that we will have in our lives. So we need to take it seriously. It's not about making a friend. It's about conducting business. Take advantage of the eight-hour classes that we offer. They come with a certificate at the end. Once you finish the classes, should you have questions or need help, you can feel free to call a home ownership consultant like myself, and we will help you for free. But we can't work harder at your life than you're willing to work. We provide the classes. You need to make the time. Once you make the time and you come to the classes, you need to implement what you, what you learn. If you have questions along the way, feel free to call us. We'll do what we can to answer the question for you. But you have to be willing to do the work. Now, for those of you who are and might still be having a problem with your mortgage, we do offer foreclosure assistance. So you can call that same number that I gave you earlier or that I will repeat again a little later on in the show. We can work with you with foreclosure. We can help 
teach you how to do post-purchase maintenance of your home. We can help you with a little financial literacy. Help you to think about your money a little different. We need to start doing that. We need to change the way we see our money, how we use our money. So, if you have questions about buying, fixing, or staying in your home, you need to call Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago. We are there to serve you. That's what we do. We want to empower you so that you can go out and do what you need to do to make the right choices for your family. Our number is 773-329-4010. Just let them know what you're interested in. They'll direct you to the right person. Again, that's 773-329-4010. And don't forget the rebate program. If you can't use it, share the information with somebody else. If you can't get any information on the internet, call your alderman's office. They may have the information readily available for you. We hope that this show has been of some help to you. Maybe I'm a, I apologize to the young lady for not being able to take her call. But again, we do answer questions on a regular basis. If you call us at 773-329-4010. This has been the NHS housing issues program. We are so glad that you were able to tune in today. We hope that you will do what it takes to get your house prepared for the upcoming month as well as prepare yourself to buy a house. Now, once you take the class, you may find out that you're not ready. That's okay. It's better that you know that before you get engaged in the process and then find out later on that it's really not a house that you need or you really can't afford a house. So again, you can go to www.nhschicago.org and find out about our services and our classes as well as NLS, which is the lending arm of uh, NHS Chicago. Go to the website and find out more about us. And again, if you can't use us, spread the word about us to somebody else because there's somebody out there who needs us who doesn't know. And you can be the person to bless them with the information that they need so that they can make better decisions about their home buying. And so that's what we do. We work with you. That's what we do at NHS. We want you to be able to purchase the home of your dreams that meets all of your needs and some of your wants. But we want you to do it knowing that you made the decision based on good information and understanding of the process. Don't be afraid. Take the classes. Don't be afraid. Call. I teach my students who come to my classes to be unapologetic about getting the information that you need to help you and your family get the home that you've been dreaming of. So, we're open until 5 o'clock every day. We're located at 1279 North Milwaukee Avenue. We have offices as far south as East Hazelcrest and as far north as Elgin. We try to be where you are because we want to serve you. So give us a call at 773-329-4010. Tell them you saw it on the housing issues and you had a question. You couldn't be going to call, but there was some technical difficulty. And they will direct you to someone who will be able to answer your questions for you. It is so important that you take advantage of stuff now when you can really appreciate it They're rather than waiting until you get in trouble. And when I say trouble, I mean foreclosure. And the threat of losing your home is looming over your head. It's causing you a lot of unnecessary stress to you and your family. Don't wait till then. The first time you see that there's a problem paying your mortgage, call somebody. Call 773-329-4010. Again, I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. It has been my pleasure to be here. My name is Bathsheba Wyatt Draper. I am a home ownership consultant with Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago. You have a blessed evening. Thank you so much.